Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and this is part 64 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. So, sorry for the delay uh, in updating, and I've had midterms over the past week and a half or so, and uh, as those of you who uh, have uh, taken them can attest to, it is a little uh, a little bit of work, although I'm not, not going to lie, I was just a little lazy as well, I apologize for that, but kind of got derailed a bit. But anyways, I am back. I don't think I already have one of these, let me see if I can repair it together. Uh, yep, why not? Uh, oops, forgot I still have this in there. Oh, we'll leave it on so you guys can get a look at it. Again, this is the Pitboy 2100 mod. Quick saving. Gotta go find Ulysses. Was there a bed? No, oh, right. Yep, it's a commissary. Alright. See if there's anything good I can buy. Thank you, Eddie. How many can repair for me? Forgot about that. Uh, oh, thank God. I think I'm gonna rat away as well because you know, why not? I don't know why, but when I first played this game, I had a very hard time finding a rat away. So, Ball 34 kind of kicked my ass, as you can imagine. But, uh,. I don't think I need to repair anything really right now, so... I'm sure my flare gun is fully active. Can I physical exam and heal up? I like that they give that to you, so I must be closing in on Ulysses if I'm just giving a full heal. So, uh, and my, uh, yeah, it's still doing the weird thing where it just... Where they completely drains your AP to, to repair the weapon, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. But, uh, we'll see. Go to a different weapon. Step back. Yep, this is the end. Okay. Let me let my AP build back up. I think we're gonna kind of regret taking that perk, but we will see. I wonder if when you get to max condition, it just like keeps it there effectively or not. Oh God, is that the man himself? Alright, so we're going to try and talk him down, so we're going to go in unarmed, very smart, right? And yeah, this looks like it. Uh, I suspect detonating these nukes would be inadvisable, but I'm sure you can do it for the achievement. Let's take bomb shelter. Oh, it looks ominous. And yeah, I do know that in order to get the power armor, you have to nuke the NCR, but I'll probably just console command for it, Even in this place. NCR. NCR's shadow falls. Or is it just you, courier? Should I have a breath mask? Without the bear's corpse to weigh you down. Oh, he's wearing one. It's weird. Judging was... by your shadow, maybe you can't let your machine go. Doesn't matter now. Either way, the divide giants are awakening. We didn't have the missiles going. here on their way home. There is no way to stop them. What happened? Uh, I still don't understand why you're doing this, because I feel like being confrontational might be a bad idea. You've answered your own question, and oh. you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaiser. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull, brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer the East. Then you brought the West in that package, destroyed it all, nearly killed me, flesh and spirit. You've destroyed something larger than the bear, greater than the bull, and even when you could have turned away, you brought it again in that machine. You destroyed a nation taking its first breath, a place that could have been my home. Now, I'll destroy yours. 
I really wonder what happens uh, if you're from Legion. Or with House. More so for Legion. But, uh, say, uh, what happened at the Divide, what I did was an accident. What you're doing is madness. No. No, there is purpose. I believe you when you say you were careless. The Divide. The ship. The machine you brought here. Many messages can be taken from that, intended or not. What I do now is an act of conviction. If you blame me for the divide, then let me answer for it, not others. <laughs> blame you? No. He Learn have his mouth you. Once, uh, Both the weapon it. to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. So what, you intend to bomb the Mojave? No, not the Mojave. The West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West. Didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure. It's fair. Follows a symbol Fair without knowing York, its then. history. And knowing that you believe in a bear's sickness and have given it strength. And that gives more reason to lay waste to your homeland. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly. Or destroy Fuck itself. Legion. You can't destroy the West even with all the missiles here. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear. Just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road, to watch something greater I die. I thought I destroyed the whole thing. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire. Cut off the Mojave. NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. You may not believe in nations, I do. Words what are the not shit? enough to bear the weight of your flag. If you follow do I not anything have enough, at all, enough reputation with NCR? speeches are things of NCR. Words without strength. Your actions have shown nothing. Your flag will burn. The Mojave will follow. Speech 90, I need to know why you're doing this. Not for my sake, for history's sake. The why of it. You taught me the itself. why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn. Lest... It claim you. These governments of the two-headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. You know, the interesting thing is I realized neither of the last two DLCs have had people who actually move their mouths when they're talking. Because now he's got his mouth covered, which... I don't know, it could be for character purposes, or it could just be because they didn't want to animate his lips, because I can say, speaking from, I'm sure they have better tools to do it than uh, we have to do as modders, but see, speaking to someone who's done it in the mod engine, it's a real pain in the ass to get the lips to go, but, uh, I don't know, it's, it's very weird. I've always been used to his voice being all echoing crap, but Speech 100, the only one that I've seen in the game so far, so, let's do it. I'm not talking about NCR or the Legion, I'm talking about our, our history. Our history. The Divide. That history has been written, its lessons learned. There's nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. You can go home again, Courier. Not a message for me, for you. My home in the East Drywells is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. Hmm. 
You said a home is a place you can you breathe life into, a moment where you know who you are? It sounds deep. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But Mojave's proof that no homeland is sacred until the larger symbols are destroyed. Whatever is built, the bear, bull, even Vegas, will tear it apart, convert it either with purpose or by accident. The Divide survived in you. If it fell like something to fight for, you can rebuild it. Nothing can prevent what comes. The missiles will launch. I don't want to kill this guy. I These want to get the questions. Lift, so. Your words or mine. What do they matter to you? Even if the missiles launch and I die here, if I can convince you, that's enough for me. It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people, yet it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. The divide? What do you mean? Our enemies gather oh, outside. Oh, balls, Markman. Shadows of the bear and a bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the marked men would flood this place, cut off so your escape. To fight them off together now? Hell yeah. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Fuck yeah. Two couriers, together. At the divide. Best bros. Quick save and shit. They come for us. Get some. Got you. What kind of weapon does he have? Oh, that looks serious. Beasts from the divide. Wait. Is he, he's cloaked? Oh, right, I forgot what he was doing right there. <coughs> Cover. Oh, I forgot. Mercy killings. Let them rest. I can both move. Don't need old world medicine. Kill you. Ha. Probably didn't do much, but maybe that one. Let's just do that for amusement at this point, but uh. Wait, wait, there's more than one eddy? Oh, they're like local defense spots, okay. Well, it looks like it might actually not draw on AP while you're in combat, that's interesting. Oh, that's a one of the scouts. Watch the shadow. The beasts cloak themselves Jesus, there's a lot of these guys. Destroying my machines of about the lag is I'm probably gonna my setting again. Fraps has been killing my uh recently. Mercy killing. Let them run. Yeah, I'm really glad that both this and then uh Old World Blues gave you the option to not necessarily have to kill the uh the bad guy at the end of it. I thought that was very cool. Simply because it's such a stereotypical thing, you know, you just, they build up this whole bad guy and then you have to just kill him and be the big hero whereas in the in the case of Mobius he wasn't the bad guy at all. And same with uh, Ulysses, it's a bit more debatable. He's still kind of at the end of the day. Not necessarily a huge asshole. Like he's got reasons for doing what he does. Uh, but you, you could just absolutely roll in here and kill him. The same with Mobius. You, you could just kill them out of hand if you felt like it. And uh, that would be fine. And that's a cloaked enemy. Oh, no, it's just graphical problems. Oops. But, uh, 
He may be with two tattoos, to be honest. But, uh, that's a quick thing. Anyways, the, uh... Oh, nice. Uh... I'm actually not sure what these do, but, uh... Let's go with... Lucky. Those, and again, that's the signature weapon thing. That What that does is just, uh... It makes me, uh... Or it makes your weapon level up, but you level up slower. Let's see what the, the quest is. But yeah, you, you could roll in and you could kill Mobius. You could kill Ulysses right away. But you didn't, uh... You didn't have to. Which is, I think is fantastic. You, you can never find out about all this extra backstory, but... If you do look, Let's leave uh, it, it's, it's quite fantastic. If we get separated. I'll meet you about Hopeville. You're the canyon wreckage. To the point, I have to go and stop the missile launch somehow. I predict miserable failure. But, uh, ooh, okay. First, let me see if these. If that lets you into a secret area. I should check down below here. If you even can. Make see if there's any cool items. So I have a feeling I might not be able to come back down in here. That's empty. Already, uh. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, I know you have to nuke the NCR to get the power armor, but. Obviously, I'm not going to nuke NCR, so I will probably just uh, council command that. Normally, I'm opposed to cheating, but make an exception because it's power armor. You know? I love my power armor. So, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm probably have to go to some kind of central terminal and follow the arrow. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that what I have? Where would I stop the missile launch? Down there? Hmm. Are we going to attempt to cancel the launch? I'm going to see if we can nuke Legion and not have Ulysses flip out at me. Yes, actually. So we'll see what happens. If we're done here, let's leave the divide behind. We get the I'll meet you about hope. Oh god, oh god. The divide erupted in fire as the flame trail of the two couriers' last message arced into the sky. Missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells, where the Twisted Hears had allied, then been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes Blasted into ha. the ground oh. and earth. The last word of the last of the twisted hairs. It was an ending to things. A way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it. Oh, I'm losing the awesome Eddie. <laughs> they put him in his voice. I'm amazed how much personality he got during this DLC. It's fantastic, really. <laughs> Hopeville burned lightless in the night. Invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. 
He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, <laughs> as if recognizing it. the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. Definitely out of fear, to be honest. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the Divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. <laughs> Speaking there, beside his feet, hmm. was a final package from one courier to another. A footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide. Reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do through the roads they walk. And this road has this reached road. its end. So yeah, you know, uh, the last run I'm going to walk before the battle for Hoover Dam, except I haven't even been to New Vegas yet, so... <laughs> it's going to be some time. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. I haven't been to New Vegas, there's so much stuff to do. It's great, we've played for like 30 hours, I haven't even been to New Vegas. How awesome is that? Uh, what else? Crap, 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 uh, Yeah, that's something interesting. I'm hoping we can still talk to you, Wussies, but uh... We will see. What I really think they should do is... Oh. Take a look at his final message. People were saying that you can find him again, but maybe it's only if you go back. Last tape, last message. In case you best me. If you're hearing this, really? you have <laughs> through blood or word. This message, and all that lies with it, it is for you, Courier. If you want to know the why of things. This world, I've walked a good part of it. I stopped only because of you. What you did gave me pause. Long ago, I crossed the corridor. The first among the Legion to see Hoover Dam in all its glory, an old world wall, yet Britain two sides, and beyond it, a symbol of a two-headed bear, an idea great enough to challenge Kaiser himself, might kill him taking it, whether he won or lost. The bull needs to fight, needs the challenge, without it, it falters dies in the dust might be a lesson there in you and me leave the thought behind the message to you my message is this the destruction that has been wrought at the divide or elsewhere if you can stop me it can happen again because it war, will keep whatever changes. happening if war doesn't change men must change and so must their symbols, even if it is nothing at all. Know what you follow, courier. Just as I followed you to the end, whatever your symbol, carry it on your back and wear it proudly when you stand at Hoover Dam. Damn right. I'd like to wear the Brotherhood symbol, but you know, we'll make do with NCR. Anyways, uh, what would. That is, I'll take a look at it in a sec, but I think, in the sound of it, he might still be alive in the Lonesome Road or not, I'm not sure, but we'll go check. 
And we'll have to go check out Drywalls as well. With, uh... Veronica and Willow, who I can finally get again after, like, what, 35 things without them now? Oh, it's gonna be good to have companions again. I have missed them. Hmm. It, yep, there he is. Just chilling. Alright. Yeah, I guess I have to do the main quest now. Ugh. Boring. Full circle. Walked your road. Now back again. Saying sup. Something else in you needing an answer. Hmm. We'll see. Have you been to Hopeville since the Ashen missile hit? Walk there sometimes. Let's talk to Keep the walks short. Still, it's important to see. Something else to answer for. Occasionally sift through the dust, the buildings. See if I can find some history. Marks of America. If you want them, keep them. You've earned it. Nothing to be gained by me holding them. And more will surface in time. Oh, wow. Rockets. So he can give you a, a supply of rockets. Uh, again, more reason to keep them alive. Free crap. How awesome is that? Alright, so we're gonna just do a talk to him. I want to get through it the more the flush out the rest of the story stuff. And then, uh, and for today, we'll get back on there with the main quest. So I got your final message. Didn't think I'd be breathing to hear you say that. Message isn't important. Meaning is. Had to speak of it, in case the words got lost in paper, ink, or others' voices. Maybe even yours in time. Still meant for you. Courier to courier. History. Belongs to you now. Or history. Doesn't matter. I don't think drywalls is destroyed. That was your birthplace? No. Opposite of that. It's where my tribe was taken. Where another history was put to the blade. Lesson taught. It is where we realize Wolpus did not approach us as equals. Where we realized the wolf had come. And we watched our history die. Now it belongs to Legion. And all the death there now belongs to them as well. Not revenge. Just the way of things when you own them. Uh, is this where you're making camp? Not a camp. Vigil, maybe. Never claimed it as mine. If anyone owns the Divide, your claim is stronger than mine. Don't feel like adding a campfire to the ones that already burn below. If you brought Mojave gifts, might be able to shape something for Ooh. the road. Any recipes you can teach? Depends what history oh, has to say about them. There's a lot the land can provide, if you know the road that led to it. Mojave's got ways of healing most ills. If not, some tribes are usually found a way you didn't expect. Like healing powders. Tribes back west. Only use Xander and rock flower. There's a way the twin mothers in the east used to brew it, though. Call it bitter drink. Mixed up the Xander and Brock in a bottle. Added some <laughs> kick to it, so your head uh, doesn't get all clouded. Great character. What's the history of it? History. Cures a wound. Leaves the bitterness that caused it. The twin mothers were always about lessons. Kaisar taught them the last one, though. So that's it for them. Recipe still exists. Legion uses it on forced marches with wounded soldiers. Delightful. Wouldn't have made it through Crimson River Trail a few years back without it. Losing so much blood early on was a Casador feast. Got it, Casador. Enough Xander root and Brock flower along the trail, though. Legion was able to keep pace and get where they were going. Can you share the recipe with me? Can do that, and one better. Just enough around to mix some. Here. Might make the twin mother's history live a little longer. You carry it. When you drink it, down it all in one shot. Or your stomach's not going to want to keep going after the second to drink. Oh, that sounds delightful. Uh... 
We'll see. I wanted to hear more about Hoover Dam. Old World Wall, run red with blood of bear and bull. It'll bleed more before the sun sets on the Mojave. That place and I have a past. Owe it a debt, and it owes me. If your path takes you there, no, you're not the only one. Hmm. It's the wall by which this age will be measured. The gravestone of the Mojave. Old world never meant it as such. Heading back to the Mojave to settle some things. Can hear the weight in your feet. You're bound for that old world wall. Hoover Dam. Maybe not now. In time. Yeah, in time. Bear and bull shed too much blood there to let it go. Can't stop you from going. Wouldn't. A warning, though. The legate they need use, whether the Kaisar oh, stands yeah, yeah. or not. They need use. Will come. Who is Legate Lenius? Lenius. A butcher. Monster. Terror of the East. Not even his slaves have seen his face. Struck them blind so they can't. Wears a mask. Hmm. Don't even know if it's the same man. Pretty hardcore. He put Colorado to the sword. Broke the hangdogs by throwing their hounds upon the oh. flames. So they might burn forever. In the afterlife. Dog violence is depressing. Sorry, it's, it's depressing. Come on. Why is he coming west? To take Hoover Dam. Legion will need something as big yeah, as the old sense. world itself. Another symbol forged by history. The Neos carries all the terrors of the East with him. He's the myth, the weapon the Legion needs. The weapon that when he arrives, not that it deserves. He'll it fall on Hoover Dam like a hammer. Break the bear in two. No kill. Any idea on how to beat him? Nineteen tribes could not do it. All the lights in Vegas cannot. Yeah, but I'm the PC. His strength lies in his title. And it is his weakness. He will not fight a losing battle and destroy what he represents. Put the idea of loss in him. Convince him the bear will not be the 20th tribe beneath his heel. It will make him pause like nothing on That's earth. A nice reference to the speech you do not need to convince down. him alone. Draw upon history. The past of other legates are not filled with victories. Remind Lanius of this. Other legates? Grand, probably. There are other legates. And the one before Lanius couldn't take Hoover Dam for Kaiser. That Leggett's mistake is he didn't die trying. His name was Joshua. Joshua Graham. Answered for his failure. Twice, some say. Kaiser had him burned and cast into the earth. Into the largest canyon you've ever seen. <laughs> Watched the flames trail all the way to the bottom. Somehow, Joshua walked away from that. Went beyond Kaiser's gaze. His footsteps trailing fire, walking from one hell, maybe to another. When one is ruined like Graham was, sometimes home is the only place left. If so, he went to New Canaan. Nice, uh, Kaiser's uh, anger sorry, written on him like a book. Kaiser's orders to the Frumentari were to watch for him, find Graham, kill him. Didn't try. <laughs> No good would have come uh, I like this guy. Graham earned his life and his nature. It'll kill him more surely than any blade of the Legion. So, if you've heard word of it or seen sign of him, let it keep. Let his history keep. I'll remember that. Then there is nothing more to be done. The Mojave awaits. Indeed. Alright, so, uh gonna end the DLC here. I just want to say a couple thoughts on it. Overall, I think this was a fantastic DLC. Easily the best. Even better than Old World Blues. The, just the environments were very well done. The enemies were great. I mean, they really mixed it up. There's this variety. The story was, I think, fantastic. You're really... This, this, this character is 
very good. He's very interesting. The, the voice acting is very, very well done. So overall, I was really impressed by this. I like how they tied it back into the main story. I, I'm sure that the nuking of Legion won't be as uh, big a deal as it should be, just because they can't really do like massive amounts of more voice acting for the whole game. But overall, I think this and Overworld Blues really are the the model on which all DLCs for this game should be based. You have a, a very, uh, very, very deep antagonist, very deep characters. People, uh, there's, there's way more than one option to solve it. You can do all all sorts of different stuff just on, on whatever proclivities uh, you have or whichever way you want to go. So I think the, these, if Skyrim has uh, DLCs that are even close to as good as uh, the well, these last two have been, I will be. Very pleased. So I think Bethesda should definitely look to these. Uh, Lonesome Road Over Blues is an example of how to how to just do a, a really engrossing uh, DLC storyline. So yeah, uh, this I can't recommend this enough. Get this. Get Over Blues if you're gonna get any of the DLCs. Dead Money and Honest Hearts you, you don't need, but the, these two, this in particular and Over Blues are fantastic. You lose a little bit of this if you haven't played through the other ones. You got the references with him, but it's really not that much and. They, they really are just, they're, they're amazing, so I can't recommend it enough. Plus, you get this awesome energy weapon from Old World Blues. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to go back to the Mojave and end it here. And so, on the uh, program for next time, we're going to finally find Willow and Veronica again. Good times. Uh, and Eddie. And probably go, you know, roll around, actually go to New Vegas at level 35, do the main quest. Maybe go uh, to Drywell, see how that's, uh, that's looking. Anyways, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been the end of my uh, Lonesome Road uh, segment of Let's Play. We will be on to the main quest, uh, unless I get distracted, starting on Monday. Again, sorry about the gap. I'm really trying to get into a, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule with Mods of the Weekend Sunday, but midterms really messed me up this weekend. I'm, I'm going to try and force myself into that schedule, but it's probably going to take a while, so you guys will have to bear with me as I do it. Anyway, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is the Tunator. I'll see you all later.